Hi, this is Noah with Automus, and in this video we'll look at an example using System Center Orchestrator and SharePoint to give us a self-service automated Active Directory user provisioning solution. The scenario we're looking at is your typical employee onboarding process, which is often slow and tedious and prone to errors and something I've never heard described as fun. It also distracts IT admins from more important projects we'd rather be working on. The goal, rather, is to allow HR to have a self-service capability and provision users themselves quickly and without errors. This minimizes our administration time spent on onboarding and allows us to do bigger and better things. Here are some common administration tasks that we'll look at in this example related to onboarding. First, we receive and verify a request, often in the form of a file. We pick out a username that follows the corporate convention and is unique. We select a temporary password. Then we create a user account in Active Directory, entering all of the details required, including the name, the phone number, the location, and so on. Most accounts always need to be members of multiple groups, so we need to figure out what those groups are and then add them. We also need to configure a manager for the account so that SharePoint and other applications can understand our organizational structure. And once we've double checked everything, we finally need to get those credentials back to HR so they can give them to the user on their first day. Here's what the process might look like before we introduce much automation. Jenna in HR locates her onboarding request template, which might be a file like a Word doc or an Excel spreadsheet. She fills in the empty fields and then emails that over to IT. After some period of waiting time, waiting for somebody to get around to it, Nigel in IT picks up the requests, looks it over, makes sure everything's correct. And then if it is, he can start getting to the tedious and exciting work of creating that user account in Active Directory, configuring it by copying and pasting all of the information from Jenna's file into the Active Directory form. And then when he's done, he can finally provide that account uh, username and password back to Jenna. Notice the timing here. We start on Monday morning, and then after a bunch of waiting around and tedious work, we finally finish up on Thursday afternoon. Not exactly what we're looking for. Here's the process we'd rather see. Jenna is now in control of the process. And instead of using files and email, she opens up a standard request form on SharePoint. She enters the same employee details, or very likely fewer details, and submits that. This is where automation kicks in, picking up that request and doing all of the tedious work that Nigel formerly did, and then getting back Jenna the results of the employee onboarding. Meanwhile, Nigel is freed up to do something he should have done a long time ago. Now let's see what this looks like in action. Here we are on Jenna's machine. She's just gotten a new request for a new employee, so she heads over to her desktop. She's got a link there for the Team HR portal, which uh, is just a SharePoint portal that has a request right there on the front page for a new employee. So she can open that up, and all she needs to do is fill in these few fields here. We have the first name and last name for our new employee, Carl Weathers. We put in his phone number, and she can select an office that he works in and a department that he's a part of. Once she submits this by saving the record, you'll see a new list item is created with a status of new, and the orchestrator runbooks will come along and see that new list item and start to work on it and mark it in progress while it's doing its thing. Uh, within about 30 seconds, we should come in and be able to refresh, and we should see a complete status, and also notice that this uh, list item has been updated with an attachment. So Jenna goes in and looks at this item, and she can see there's a new attachment with the credentials word in there. She opens that up, she'll see that this is a message for Carl, your username is such and such, and your password is this, to log in on your first day. Now here on Nigel's machine, you can see Nigel loves dragons, first of all, but he also has been busy all day doing XP upgrades and just happens to come in and check Active Directory and sees that a new account has been automatically created as annotated there. Uh, we can see all the information that Jenna put into the request here reflected in the Active Directory account. Uh, we can also see that it generated a first.last convention username from the first and last name she provided. 
It also has given Carl a new profile path for his roaming profile. And it's added him to, uh, or it's, it's given him a department of job titles you can see and figured out his manager, but it's also added him to a location group and a department group per the request. So that's all there is to it. And this account has been created in an automated fashion from a SharePoint front end.